Bitch, I'm back, bitch. <laughs> bitch, I'm back. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been it's been a while. I have no other excuse than to say I was just really busy. <laughs> I have a professional career outside of doing all this and I devote a lot of my time doing it and with good reason and it was worth it. <laughs> Yesterday it was a very special day because it was my birthday! Yay! Party! 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 <laughs> and not just that, um, it's because it is the first day of my favorite month. It, and it's not just because it's my birthday, but because it is Pride Month. It looks like things just got a legendary. <laughs> Pride Month, I don't know, it means a lot to me because when I wasn't able to express myself, it made me happy seeing others just march around, parade around, and express themselves in the best way that they can. And that's why I love this month so much because it is open for all. We're not a spectacle, but we are open for every single one to celebrate with us the, color, the colorful life of the LGBT community. And I'm gonna be posting a series of videos for Pride Month. The first video, this is just basically me talking about what it's like to be kept in the closet. I don't know, the best way I can describe being in the closet is having this amount of weight on your shoulders and not knowing when to let it go because you have the choice of letting it go but then the thing is if you let it go are you letting it go at the right time are you on like this little stiff balance beam with a narrow foot plank that's made of wood and the minute you drop it it's gonna break along with you or are you gonna cross it and drop it then and then you'll know that everything was worth it you'll never know because it is your decision to let yourself know when you finally cross that point. What I'm basically trying to say is... She's overthinking and she's, she's thinking about a sandwich. Coming out, is, coming out is your decision. I would say that when I came out, I was really nervous because I didn't know what the reception was. I grew up in a country in the Philippines where everything was traditional and we were, and everyone was religious. Philippines is a very Catholic country and a very Christian country, so I didn't know what to expect. I was basically studying in a university where it was revolved around Christianity and it's funny too because it was also revolving around liberal arts, but yeah, I didn't know what the reception was going to be, but I knew that that was the right time because I was ready. I was ready for whatever sort of criticism I was going to get or any backlash I was going to get, but Fortunately, that wasn't the case. I was greeted with so much love, so much respect for from all my friends and family. Even my family here in the Philippines received it so well. I was like, wow. I was overwhelmed because I did not expect that outpouring of positivity and love. I can't really say the same for a lot of people because my experience of coming out is not going to be the same for everyone out there. But I implore you to just come out when you're ready. It is a really heavy barrier to always keep yourself in the closet and not be able to express yourself. But always know that there's a family waiting <laughs> there's a family waiting for you with open arms. And that's the LGBTQIA plus community waiting for you. Absolutely. 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 Yeah, that's basically it. <laughs> Thank you, thank you guys so much for watching this video. It means a lot to me to share all my stories when it comes to coming out and living my life and living my best life. And yeah, make sure to show me some love. It was my birthday yesterday. Party. 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 Fucking party. Ah. <laughs> I'm officially 22. And you will be expecting a series of videos for this whole month. So expect another video next week. And that's it. Make sure to drop a like, leave a comment, share the love and support, please. And always remember to live life like it's a celebration. I'll see you guys next week. Bye!